Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. I do have a Virgo-only and Cancer-only channel. If you would like to check those out, they're in the description box below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. If it doesn't resonate, it's just simply not your story. Um, please keep in mind that some readings can be future predictive, so always keep an eye out um, for, for this situation in the future. Uh, when leaving comments, please be sure to show empathy and sympathy for anyone going through a difficult time. Uh, I do not take personal readings, so any phone numbers that you see in the comment section is not me. And if anyone should reach out to you on any form of social media, it is also not me, okay? Um, I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot for a personal reading. The link to book a reading with her is in the description box below, okay? All right, let's get popping. Um, Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, and we've got the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. We've got the Five of Swords, and we've got the Six of Cups. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Justice card, and we've got the Ten of Swords. Oh, Leo, I like it. Okay, so Leo, listen, I feel that you have been in a very, very, very difficult relationship with somebody. This person kept you waiting and waiting, suffering, sacrificing, and you know what? You're about to meet somebody new, and a light bulb is going to go off on, yes, this is how I deserve to be treated. This new person, and I'm not saying that they're a rebound, okay, but this new person is going to be the final nail in the coffin for you to walk away from a past situation okay I feel that justice is being served here and you are walking away finally giving up on something from your past this person has hurt you and stabbed you and betrayed you and just I mean this person treated you like shit and when you meet this new person it's going to be a total and complete catalyst for change look at that six of wands and i'm going to put it right on top of that ace of pentacles right there leo because this is somebody that is going to be proud to be next to you they're going to give you the love and the respect that you deserve okay tell me about that hanged man please and the king of cups you know, Leo, it's not like you don't love this person or that you, you know, it's not that there's not love there, Leo. The thing though is, is that you're learning to control that emotion and understand that there's better out there, okay? Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Libra. Tell me about this Five of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Leo, I feel that somebody is going to really come in and show you what love is. And it's going to make it very easy for you to walk away from someone. Six of Cups and the Emperor. Yep. This is somebody that... Um, if you are a divine feminine, this is a divine masculine that comes in. They're in control of themselves. This is someone that has their shit together. Okay, they have their shit together. With the star card, this is everything that you have been manifesting. Okay. Or Leo, I mean... If you are a divine, I mean, this is just someone taking control of a situation and going after what they want. The six of wands and the star card is a very public energy, okay? This is somebody that is really going to put you on a pedestal. They're going to want to introduce you to friends and family and, and, and make everything, you know, about you, involve you in their life. They're going to make you feel safe and comforted. They're going to be stable. They're going to be there every day. You're never going to have to wonder where you stand with this person. Tell me about this justice card and the death card. Yeah, you're finally doing the right thing here. And with the tower, I feel like it's going to shock this person. 
I feel like it's going to shock whoever this past person is that you are leaving behind, okay? Because with the Strength card and the Two of Cups, I, I feel like you're in a connection here that is so strong and so stable that it's going to be, you're not even going to be thinking of this past person. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and Temperance. You're healing from the past. You're healing from the past here, Leo. And I feel like this new situation, I'm not saying, I don't feel like it's a rebound and I don't feel like you're moving too fast. I just feel like you're just soaking up the love here. You're soaking up the love. There's someone here that drained you, hurt you, betrayed you. Um, This person treated you like shit. I mean, just point blank, period. And I feel like you are moving towards somebody that really makes you happy. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the Eight of Wands and the Tower. This communication is going to blow. It's going to rock this person's world. Like this person feels like the carpet has just been pulled from underneath them. Tell me about Leo. We've got the Judgment card and we've got the Page of Pentacles. They're going to want to apologize, Leo. They're going to want to apologize. They're going to want another chance. But this person's coming in as a page and this person is coming in as an emperor. You know? You're dealing with somebody that is very immature. Yes, yeah, see, look, two of wands and the empress. Two of wands and the empress. So you see what I'm saying? I mean, we've got an emperor and an emperor here, Leo. Okay? You're going to have to make a choice here between a page and an emperor. Nine of swords and the eight of swords. I'm telling this person is going to lay, they're going to lay the guilt on is what I'm feeling. Tell me about the eight of wands and the knight of wands. Yeah, this is somebody that is in a very, very, very immature energy. This is someone that's not even close to looking to settle down. This person is, they want a lot of attention. It could be all about what they want because the knight of wands ultimately only pursues what they want. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so this conversation is happening with the tower here and the ten of wands. I'm sorry, I've had enough. I've had enough with the um, with the full card here. This is an energy of you're too irresponsible. You just do whatever you want to do. You don't think about consequences. You're not planning for your future. Okay. Now I don't have reversals in my deck, guys. But we've got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is someone that is very selfish, very egotistical, sexually promiscuous, non-committal. This is somebody that has a bad temper. So when they don't get their way, it's a massive tantrum that takes place here. Tell me about this judgment card, please. The Hierophant. This person is going to make promises to marry you. Page of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Yeah, this person is saying, oh, accept my apology. Things will get better. I promise I'll commit. I'll be good. I'll do all of these things. Tell me about this Two of Wands. And the seven of swords, but it's a lie. You have a choice here, Leo, between a liar, a liar, and an emperor or empress type of relationship. These are your choices. Tell me about the seven of swords and the devil. Yeah, this person's toxic as fuck. Okay, I mean, they are toxic as hell, Leo. And trust and believe that with that four of pentacles energy and that queen of swords, this person is going to try to stop you. They're very manipulative. This is somebody that is not stupid. They know exactly what to say. Yeah, look, and the magician here. They know exactly what to say and exactly what to do to stop you in your tracks, Leo. <coughs> But we've got the four of wands, the emperor and the empress. You have a twin flame or a twin soul connection coming in. And that's why you're going to be so drawn to this person. You're going to feel like your souls know each other. But this past person is not going to let go as easily as you think. Okay, they're not going to let go as easily as you think. They're going to try to manipulate you and get you to stay, Leo. They will. Um, what decision are you going to make? We've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. They want to talk about, yeah, they want to talk about working things out. They want to talk about being more steady, more stable. But it's just a root, it's just a plan, you know, that this is their typical thing. So Leo, I mean, it's not really giving me an answer as to what choice you're going to make. I hope you make the right choice. I really, really do. You know what I'm saying? Because you have like the real deal coming in. And I hope that you don't mess up and go back to that toxicity. I really do. I hope you don't mess up and go back to that toxicity. Anything else here? Two of pentacles and the four of cups. Yeah, you're going to have to make a choice here. You're going to have to reject somebody. 
you're going to have to reject somebody. Uh, Page of Swords, the World card, and the Five of Pentacles. I do feel, uh, yeah, see, Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. I do feel that for the majority of the collective, it's going to make you, I think you're going to feel bad, but you're going to be honest with this person and say, listen, this is a, a cycle that just keeps repeating over and over again. And with the Five of Pentacles, I just don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to invest in a connection that is going absolutely nowhere. So Leo, I feel like for the majority of you, you're going to make the right choice, even if, you know, maybe you feel a little bad or whatever, because this person's going to lay it on thick. I'm not going to lie. They're going to lay it on thick. Um, but I feel like you're going to make the right choice. Okay. Emperor, Empress, Four of Wands, that's boss fish, boss daddy type of energy. So that, that is definitely somebody that you're going to marry, have children with. Maybe you guys already have children, beautiful type of family environment vibe. So Leo, I mean, you know, the, the decision is in your hands, my loves. Okay. So let's go ahead and do Leo and all 12 signs. Spirit, tell me about Leo and all 12 signs, please. Tell me about Leo and all 12 signs, please. Leo and all 12 signs in love. Leo and all 12 signs in love, please. Aries to Pisces. Okay, so Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries, Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Death card. Okay, so there could be change in finances here. Okay, two things are happening. Either there's someone here that came off as very committed, stable, and loyal, and this person ends up just disappearing out of nowhere, and you have no idea why. OK, it could be because that person was committed elsewhere. Uh, for others of you, the breadwinner in the relationship may end up losing their job and, you know, things may end up changing. OK, shit may get a little crazy. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Page of Swords, the Star card, and the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody that has a crush on you, that has been watching you for a while online or whatever. They have a crush on you, and they're going to come in and talk to you and ask you out. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Justice card with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands. If we're dealing with a Gemini, this is someone that always wants to be right, and it's becoming a little too much for you. Okay, it's like the, the someone has a constant need to always be right. If we're dealing with a cancer, king of wands, the lover's card, and the three of cups. Um, Leo, if you're dealing with a cancer, there's, uh, you know, I don't, I mean, the king of wands is here. So Leo, I have to say that maybe you might be tempted by a third party. So if you're with a cancer, there could be a third party here that you're crushing on or you're sexually attracted to. Or Leo, if you're currently in a relationship, um, either you or the cancer, uh, you guys could be sexually tempted by each other. Okay. Um, if we're dealing with another Leo, we've got the devil with the four of wands and the world card. Somebody here is making a decision to stop their addictions and stabilize themselves, whether that be drugs, drinking, uh, cheating, whatever the case may be. And I do feel stability coming into the picture. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the knight of swords, the eight of wands and temperance, this is somebody that is going to chase you down, hunt you down, want to communicate. They want forgiveness or they want um, tempers to die down and, and to talk to you again. Okay. If we're dealing with a Libra, nine of wands, the Empress and the Emperor. Vir uh, where did Virgo come in? Uh, Leo, if you're dealing with a Libra, this is, uh, an energy where somebody needs to protect their marriage or their relationship. Okay, so Leo, if you are married or in a relationship, you may need to protect it against a Libra or Leo, if you are married to a Libra or in a relationship with a Libra, you may have to defend your person in some way, shape or form. If we are dealing with a Scorpio, we've got the nine of cups, the seven of swords and the queen of swords. Um, Leo, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, there's definitely someone here that's lying, that's cheating. Um, this is somebody that is very strict, that thinks that they're getting their way, but there's also lying afoot. Like somebody's getting away with something. Like they're able to 
uh, make somebody that has tremendous amount of rules feel happy and satisfied, but they're still sneaking around and doing what they want to do behind the, that person's back. If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, we've got the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So Leo, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like you're trying to get away from this person, but they're very persistent in trying to come back and apologize, okay? It's been going on for a while now, and it will go on for a while. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles, um, this is somebody that is saying, I'm sorry, I'll miss you. It's not you, it's me, but I want to be single. This is not a Capricorn that's ready for a relationship. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Three of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. This is an Aquarius that might work a lot, or maybe they go out with their friends a lot, and it's a little boring. I'm not going to lie, Leo. You may be getting a little bored of this because you're alone a lot in this connection. If we're dealing with a Pisces, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Um, Leo, this is another one where if you're dealing with a Pisces, this is somebody that, you know, may be friends, but they want more. They find you extremely attractive or they're falling in love with you and they want to come in and let you know. Okay. All right, guys. I love you all so very much and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.